Hello, what's up? My name is Nadia MTC and welcome back to your favorite show, Chirongwa Tenyu Chepamoyo. This is Rising Stars. Today we're on top of Harare once again because we are rising. And on today's show we have Aqualine Mudombozi. She's inspirational, she's young, she's creative, and she's here to inspire you on today's show. We're so happy to have you today, Aqualine. Thank you. How are you? I'm all right. Yeah. So, Aqualine, could you please tell the viewers, the fans, who you are and what you do? Okay, my name is Aqualine Mudombozi. I am a mom of two and I'm married. I go to FM Church in Zimbabwe, uh, Greater Grace, Melbourne. And um, yeah, that's basically what I do. I sing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have Aquiline and she's a gospel singer. She's going to be telling us or taking us into her journey, how she's been living um, ever since she got into this particular industry and what has been doing for her. So Aquiline, could you tell us um, what kind of music you do and why you chose to get into the kind of music that you do? Okay, I sing worship music. Okay. I wanted to do that specifically because um, I had an experience where I was kind of lost and depressed at some point okay. and worship music really revived me and refreshed me in a way and it got me through all of those seasons. So okay. uh, if I can do that, share with that, uh, with other people that, then I think that's worth something. Yeah. All right. I'm noticing that when we speak about gospel music, we normally just say gospel, but she's not saying gospel. She's saying she does worship music. Yes. Could you take us through what the difference is between just saying it's gospel and then you saying that it's worship? Okay, uh, I believe gospel is just the truth about Christ. Okay. So you can be singing about anything really from scripture to just saying uh, God uh, went to Canaan. Okay. You know, that's gospel music. But then worship specifically, you are telling God who he is, thanking him for what he's done, what he's doing, right. and what he's yet to do, even when you don't understand it. All so right. yeah, that's what we, that's what worship is. Okay, so how did you know, and at what points did you know that this is your calling, to be a worshiper and not just a musician or just, you know, a gospel singer? Okay, I've always sang, you know, in choirs, um, with groups uh, and all that. But when I started um, experiencing worship, before I was singing to myself, it changed me. You know, even when you're stressed, you just feel there's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to, to worry about. So uh, that's so refreshing for me. And I would like to share that with everyone who can listen. Yeah. All right. OK, that's beautiful. Um, Jack, um, Aquiline, Aquiline. Yeah. All right. So Aquiline, um, would like to understand because I feel like your relationship with the Lord is yeah. primarily what has led you to get into the kind of um, industry that you're in and the kind of genre that you sing yeah and i think there's such a misconception in the world in general that people think that christianity is something that is passed down from your mom to you it's just true. because you're born in a christian family yeah. and could you take us through your process of having jesus as your personal lord and savior and having grown up in a christian home at what point did he then become your savior and your lord and what does okay. that look like so that you know people out there can be helped as well Okay, uh, I, I always grew up in church. Uh, I sang, I went to church every Sunday, I went to cell groups. We did everything that was there to do in church. And that was just routine. But then um, when real life started to settle in and you start seeing things, uh, you start seeing life, you start uh, having problems and issues, you look for answers. You 
ask questions and you are not so happy and then you find that place that one thing that uh, you say no but this could really work because when i started experiencing it was in scripture again actually when i heard about jesus it somehow it was different than every other time that i heard it and you start to really seek i need this jesus so that i can be whole that i can be fine oh wow yeah. oh wow yeah. she needs jesus that she can be whole yeah and i'm sure if you're watching this as well perhaps you need jesus that you can be whole so normally when we have musicians on the show we ask them how do you balance you know being a mom being married and all of that is there any kind of balance that you have to bring into your life is there any kind of balancing that you have to do with being a worshiper and being a mom and being married as well and going to work i think the most important thing is having a support that's strong especially your spouse okay. if you need to do that you need your spouse on the board so i think i thank god for him because um he is with me when we are called to sessions we are called to interviews like this we are called to serve sometimes in the night in south africa in zambia and if he doesn't like it you won't go anywhere oh, so wow. yeah okay. you just need that support system so that you can work everything around it if you're supportive of it all right yeah all right that's that's beautiful all right so you see who you marry is very important it is. if you marry someone <laughs> when you're a worshiper someone who's going to the bower and all of that stuff it's not going to work that doesn't mean you should break up with your <laughs> just do you boo all right um what about in terms of um when you were growing up you were yeah. a singer obviously you always knew that you could sing yeah but was worship or was what you're seeing right now always the destination did you always say oh i'm going to be a worship singer what am i going to this is what i'm going to do with my life not really i had plenty of songs love songs breakup songs you know oh, all this breaking your heart. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> that's a story for another day <laughs> all right but um yeah I, 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 it was actually so many things for me before uh life began to happen okay. so you find uh, all of these things they don't really matter what i really want is this jesus and to sing about him and you know just to share that with everyone because that's that's what's important to me all yeah right. what has been your most awesome beautiful experience ever since you started uh, singing as a worshiper or you know singing to the glory of god i think serving serving is kind of fulfilling because sometimes uh, you don't serve because you can or you want to but because i'm actually fighting my own battles so sometimes when i'm singing dear mambo it's not as if i'm telling you that you should boast about your god but i'm actually boasting about him because i need to fight my own demons also all right you know so uh, serving every time i do that okay you know it just leaves me on a higher higher note in my life yeah. all right so um aquilin here has mentioned dear mambo that's your latest album right? yes it all is. right can you take us through your music journey as in do you have any singles do you have any albums and what does that look like for you okay um in 2018 i did a single that's named holy and i planned to do other few songs uh but then um so many things took priority then then um when lockdown started we had ample time to write more songs and right. to rehearse and we decided we need to record nine songs oh wow so okay. we recorded nine songs we recorded live it was a live dvd recording oh. yeah we did it in westgate in um instrument uh, shop so yeah that was really beautiful those songs mean so much to me and i hope um people can connect with each and every song that's there and you know connect with their god if you are out there and you're feeling inspired don't forget to just take a look at her album dear mambo and her single called holy i'm sure you'll be inspired and i'm sure you'll find yourself at the feet of jesus yes. okay aquiline could you um tell us uh what your favorite what your favorite song is um who your favorite artist is who you'd like to collaborate with okay my favorite song on my album or just in general on your album and then just in general okay on my album well those are my songs i love them <laughs> all but maybe i really connect with hosanna to the lamb because okay. um it's a song that i'm not really asking anything I'm not really thinking about anything else except just saying be praised oh God you're just beautiful 
for everything you've done, wow. for everything you're still doing, for everything that you will do. So Hosanna, my heart will cry, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Wow. I think that's just a beautiful space that it leaves me in my mind. And in general, I have uh, different songs for different seasons, you know. So I can be crazy about one song for a whole month. Mm -hmm. And I can't really say uh, my favorite song right now is whatever. But maybe what's ministering to me at the moment is the story I'll tell by Maverick City. Oh my gosh, I love Naomi that song. Yes. yes, she's so amazing. So, yeah, that's where I'm oh, at wow. now. Oh, wow. Okay, but Maverick it might City change. Been really happy, you know, <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay, and who you'd like to collaborate with in the future? Pastor Richard Dube. Well, I was supposed to sing with him, Dear Mambo, but okay. uh, last minute he, he didn't make it. Okay. So I would still love to, to collaborate with him. He's a powerful worshipper, and I've learned so much from him from Call to Worship Africa, where I also serve. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so amazing. All yeah. right, could you just take us through your ambitions as a, a worship singer? What do you aim to do? Who do you aim to please? And what, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Okay, I aim to please God. I just hope that uh, because of everything that God has done for me, I can make him proud, you know, because I feel like I'm just a estranged daughter somehow <laughs> with right. issues and stuff. He has healed me. He has completed me. He still does do that. So I can only hope I make him proud, you know, by serving and doing the things that he wants, I believe he called me to do. And um, I hope to grow into a worshiper that uh, shares the stage with, with, with so many people that just long to have the presence of God, you know, fill that place, yeah. All right, that's so beautiful. Uh, I think part of our final questions would be, um, who has been, I can't say caring you, but who has played the most significant role in your life? Um, around you, be it the church or the people that are around you who have helped you to get to where you are today and who have inspired you to continue singing. I believe you mentioned your spouse. Um, mm -hmm. If that's still the answer, you can get a little bit more into that. <laughs> well, uh, I can say more, that, more about that, but um, I think I've said enough. We co-write the songs, we sing together when we have nothing to do. That's what we do in our house. We sing with our two children. Now we go crazy and all. But um, there's my pastors, uh, Pastor Joaquinu and uh, Mrs. Joaquinu. They're just beautiful people. You know, you need uh, all the people to keep on telling you, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah, and the whole community at um, my church, FM Greater Grace Melbourne. Okay. Yeah, when I go, go, and all, they're always saying, why don't you do that? And you're not believing that you can actually do it. Then um, Pastor Charlotte and Philip Pike from uh, Call to Worship. I think I've learned a lot from that group, All from right. their teachings, from their leadership. You really um, learn to grow into the worshiper that you should be, rather than just loving the microphone, even when you have nothing to give. So yeah, I really appreciate those people. All right. Yeah. How do you deal with the challenges that you face in your life? Um, and where, have you ever faced any challenges where you felt like, ah, uh, my music might not work out, I'm losing my faith, and how did you I deal clap hands for myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> most, uh, most of the times, you know, you need encouragement, you need someone to tell you, ah, oh, that was beautiful, and there's no one to do that. So I think uh, the most powerful thing you can ever learn to do is to applaud yourself. Yes. But you wow. know what, I did my best. Mm. I gave my best, I just hope. Uh, God is happy, and if He's happy, then I'm good. Because uh, sometimes there's no one really to say you did okay. All right. Yeah. So um, I think we're coming to the close of the show, and I'm sure people who are watching just want to hear this powerful worshiper. They want to be impacted by your voice. They want to know if they should go on ahead and listen to the album. So could you please just sing us a little something, just so the people out there can be inspired? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sitare nyu mambo Garisi muzirwe Pamazita ose Renyu ngarisi muzirwe Pasino kudenga Garisi muzirwe Pamazita ose 
ngari simuzirwe piwa imbiri mambo piwa imbiri mambo pamazita ose renyu ngari simuzirwe hakuna mumwe mambo hakuna mumwe mambo Pamazita ose. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the voice of the Nightingale up on the rooftop today. <laughs> We're so excited to be having you on the show today, Akwini Mudombozi. Thank you so much It was much just for so inspirational me. hearing your story, hearing your journey, and just knowing that there's more that we can find in Christ. True. We hope that all the viewers out there have been listening intently and that you guys have learned one or two things. Before we finish, could you just tell us what your favorite um, scripture is in the Bible? Psalms 121. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dishatari sa kumakomo, rubati ro rangu runo vakupi, runo vakuna ishau kudenga, you know, anga tenderi, zuarindi pise, kana kutumwezi, undi kuvaze, you know, it goes on and on. I can't really uh, remember the words exactly, but that's my favorite scripture. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Rising Stars. I've been your host, Nadia MTC. We were joined today by Aquiline Mudombozi. We are on the rooftop. We are Rising Stars. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and catch us next week here on Rising Stars. It's goodbye for now. Mwah. Thank you. Yeah.